once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. How does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner, originally. Call me Dead Man. I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Contrary to the name, I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Oh, us. Yup. Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. <laughs> Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. Cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days? During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. We're at our base in Capital North City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Huh. Uh, uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Uh, what's the other mark from? A clinging woman in a cave. Huh. Hmm. I see. Affenphosmphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. 
I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, uh, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Nam? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer, in critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah, here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. The truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to another part of Death Stranding. Um, I hope you guys have checked out the previous episode. If not, I'm gonna leave a link of that in the i button above. Please go ahead and check it out. Request transport of morphine to isolation ward for immediate administration to the president. So that beginning cutscene was pretty lengthy, man. I mean, this basically gives this idea of, you know, watching a movie. <laughs> I guess we can call this a cinematic experience for some, uh, I mean, the way it is being presented and stuff. I know there is gameplay. I mean, probably we've done around... Hold on. All right. If you're not sure how to get there, you can set markers and draw routes too. Try it out and you'll see what I mean. Alright, open cufflinks to view map. In this, I can probably see where I'm supposed to go. So this is the place. Um, and uh, I can mark it or probably even I can see, I believe. Hold on. So this is the place where we are, where we are supposed to be. I think we can place a marker there, a custom marker. And uh, if you press L1, you'll get to know where you're supposed to go. This is how it is. I'm making things easy for you guys in the walkthrough because if anyone wants to play, uh, I'm going from pretty much giving guidelines. So you guys can try that. So if you use L1, it is sort of a compass which sort of shows you where your location is and where you're Sam, supposed to go. If you want to confirm you're headed the right way, check your compass. See? It'll never steer you wrong. Provided you have a destination, that is. Yep. So, um, you don't have to place a custom marker as well. You can just remove that marker. It's, uh, and even if you just hold L1, I mean, I'm telling according to the PlayStation 5 controller controls. So, if you press L1, it'll basically show you. And, uh, yeah, that's what it is. 
So let's just go to that place. So I, I was telling, this is more like a cinematic experience in this one hour that I've spent, that I've spent time playing this game. I think probably I have played only for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. I think rest of the time has just been, you know, um, watching cutscenes like a movie. President hadn't required special treatment. She would have never left. And if she hadn't, we wouldn't have either. So yeah, I guess this is the place we're supposed to reach. signs are all trending the same way no chance of a recovery then none that i can see no we should start making preparations sam it's me dead man sorry my mistake i'm afraid the president's condition has deteriorated Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Huh? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. That's the president's right-hand man, the director of Bridges. Die hard man. Oh, you were with Bridges one. So, I guess no introductions are necessary. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. <sighs> we 
We'll leave you two alone. Sam, I knew you'd come back. Are you doing all right? three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie. She needs you. <laughs> Together, you you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. Bridget, you're the president of Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. <laughs> but, you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. <gasps> Madam President! Oh, no. Doctor, we need your help. Listen, no one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now, what happened here does not leave this room. Do you understand? Yes, Director. But there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered.
Sam, before she died, the President made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question, and there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the President's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements. Tombs. Repatriate. So me. Why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Now get it done, Sam Border Bridges. President Strand believed in American Reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it, America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains, so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy, carrying a body up there. We'll be monitoring you around the clock. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support by the cufflinks. All right, so uh, apparently we've got to incinerate the last and final America's president. I mean, in the game, <laughs> not in reality, obviously. I could get sued for that, probably, if I told that. Re I mean, like, really. 
Yep, we've got it. Um, hold on, see that is incinerator. Oh my god! Hmm. Let's uh, open up. Getting to the incinerator will be anything but easy. Move around and change the angle of your map to gain a better understanding of the terrain. See if you can't pick a path to your destination. For this order, we've provided you with a number of suggested routes as well. Ultimately, though, it's up to you to decide how you want to proceed. So we can sort of plan our route over here uh, to reach this place. Uh, I'm just going to try and draw uh, whatever route I feel uh, or looks a little bit easier. So this is one and uh, dude I don't know like seriously uh, probably over here two and uh, I guess over here three and then oh no let's remove that marker let's remove this one too uh, and from here to here I believe I don't know if that is going to how much of it is going to work I don't know but I'll just uh, yeah I hope this thing works Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, shit. Dude, this thing is swaying a lot left, right, and center. Oh, god. So, carrying huge volumes of cargo can make you lose your balance way too easily. This thing looks very much. Uh, no. See? Oh, god. Oh, no. Dude, it's like if I'm turning somewhere, then I'll have to probably stop and turn because if I'm on the move and I'm trying to turn left or right, then easily I'm losing grip. Alright, so we've got to get to that incinerator. This is going to take some time, man. Yeah. Um, I believe I'm going the right. President Bridget Strand was the symbol of American reconstructionism. Even with the country shattered scattered to the four winds. She never stopped believing they could be reunited. People held on to their hope that America would rise again because they believed in her. We believe that this country can be rebuilt. America lives on, together with Bridget's undying spirit. So yeah, basically that is the place where we are supposed to reach. You can see that sort of smoke thing coming out. Um, yeah, can I run? Oh, yeah, I can, but not for long. Dude, I've covered a walk hole all of this place completely. I've heard this game is like extremely long. I do not know how much hours of playtime this actually is but um, there's going to be a lot of walking so yeah um, the story initially might feel slow but I yeah, think yeah just like that what it'll pick up later that's what even I've heard so once you start getting uh oh my god no no come on dude oh shit so yeah i mean the while once you start i mean you're going deep into the game that's where the story you know it starts making sense this is basically like a paradoxical game um i mean a game with a paradoxical story I, I think that is the best way i can put it uh so yeah uh 
I, even I'm not making any sense right now, but I guess we eventually find out. Alright, I stopped at this point to show you guys something. So that is the place we started off from. I cut in between because the copyright music sort of kicked in. Don't want that to play. <laughs> That's exactly why. Um, so we walked from there. We came all that way along from there. Over here. And then we're supposed to go through, I mean, I guess from that waterfall or something to that place dude this is going to take a lot of time man this this whole terrain man it looks crazy it's so big this sort of gives me the vibes of Himalayas dude I visited there and it was not easy I mean they are so huge and it's like you feel that okay that is a point of reach it it it's just there visible and i can reach that in no time but only when you reach that spot will you know how tough and time taking it is i guess that is what it is i'm feeling right now old memories kicking in okay use terrain scanner steep slopes rocks slippery surfaces Blue, green, and cross, red, okay. Dude, I can see some sort of a ladder over there. So, there are, uh, this game has this online sort of thing. So, say suppose I go ahead and put up a ladder somewhere over, over the terrain or somewhere to cross. It stays there and it helps someone else who's playing the game. That's sort of a very nice and helpful feature, I believe. Um, dude, hold on. Oh, this is the rope. I think we can climb using the rope. Yeah, exactly. Let's grab this thing and uh, keep moving up. Let's go, man. Apparently, we're not supposed to wander around too long with this corpse. Else, it is going to... Oh shit, oh, come on, come on, dude, come on. Ooh. The balancing part is quite difficult. Oh my god. Okay. We have reached the fourth point. Oh my god, finally. So, uh, I guess one more is left and I believe. Oh my god, we'll reach the incinerator. Oh shit. Oh, we can like. Hold on. I want to do that. <laughs> Igor. Well, that Igor is. Let's uh, give him a like. Thanks for nice. How it's much can I give? <laughs> I don't know if that really. No, no, dude. If that really. I mean, if that guy really gets to know that I've liked it. Then it's worth giving those likes. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, so I, I, I'm asking you guys too. So whatever, if you're watching this episode and if you're liking it, then please don't forget to drop your likes as well. It's like a real boost for me. It'll keep motivating me to keep uh, rocking this stuff back to back. I have never played any game like this. This is a completely different perspective. Like walking the world of, oh no, dead and living, mix it together. This is all very crazy and... Oh shit, no, 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 I cannot climb over there. Let's see if I can climb this thing. Come on, dude. I, I sort of like how he takes his time to climb that thing. Ooh, finally we're here, man. Incinerator west of Capital Lot City. Dang it. So linking all the bits and pieces is very much... Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Required because right now 
my understanding of the story is nowhere close to understanding inverted commas. Yeah. It's just going on, that's what I know. Alright, let's keep moving, man. We've reached it. And we've just got to incinerate her body. Okay, let's activate the terminal. Quick, quick. Um, cremate the body. Uh...
start with shit. Oh, maybe you are defective. That's it. Do your thing. All right, man, we've got to cross this. BTs? God damn, look at them. Sam, we're sending you some suggested routes back to the city. Pick one or don't. Just get the hell out of there. Okay, so we've got to cross this thing and get back to... there, which is Capital North City. Man, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to reserve this part for the next one. Because this is going to be one hell of an adventure and I need some, I need to take some time doing this. As of now, it's uh, pretty much uh, what you've seen and uh, I hope you enjoy this second episode. If you want more of these, uh, please show your love and support, you know, by leaving a like or dropping a comment. And if you can, take your time out and, you know, subscribe. Uh, I mean, uh, you would be updated with all the content that I'll be bringing through, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Um, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out until then. I love you all. Bye-bye.